Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is George Slackeg. Normally I talk about adventure on this channel, but some of you may know that I earn my living as a professional handyman, yeah. self-employed, and people contact me in various ways to inquire about jobs that I do for them that they need done. It is not uncommon for me to receive a text message from someone I don't know inquiring about, say, a paint job. And this is what happened yesterday. I received a text message by a lady named Patricia. I'm just going to call her that. I'm not going to tell you the last name because uh, I, I don't know completely for 100% sure if this uh, is maybe a legit call or what I suspect that it is not. So I had this inquiry and it says uh, my name is Patricia blah 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 as an experienced general contractor that she found me on Yelp in the Edmonton area and she needs an interior painter for her house and to check my email. So I did check my email and there was no email from this person. However, when I checked my spam folder, which is already an indication that maybe there's something fishy about this, there was a very extensive, long, explanatory email from this person. And it goes something like, hello, no name, my name is not on there, it's just hello, generic email. And it says, uh, here's more about the job and how urgently I want it to be, to be done. And the, basically she explains that the, the square footage of the house, the room she wants done, a very detailed description. She's moving to Edmonton and she'd like to get it done before she arrives here. And uh, the interesting thing here is uh, the paint is already ordered and it will be delivered upon payment. And this lady now she wants to pay me 50% up front and if I accept a check and that's about as far as it goes that's where I got suspicious do I accept the check and I have to say that on occasion I do and it's usually people that I've met that I trust and if it's somebody that I've never met then automatically that's a no because I don't know if their check's gonna bounce. Like, it, it just gives me a creepy feeling even if they ask about that. That's just the impression I got. And so, uh, yeah, there was another text message. And first I responded to her and I said, Hi, Patricia, found your email in my spam folder. We'll check it out and respond later. Then I thought about it. And this morning I responded to her Hi Patricia, while I would still be available to do your paint job, your method of contacting me resembles a current scam. And this is nothing personal. I'm just protecting myself. And I do not accept checks from people I don't know. Now if you still want to work with me, if you still want to hire me, which I highly doubt, please contact me via my website, georgeslackek.com. That'll take care of it right there. However, I, I know he really believe that this is a scam artist and uh, there's a scam that's going on and maybe there are some people that are really looking for that kind of work, looking to get a good paying paint job that somebody needs done and they might just uh, you know, overlook a few details and just deal with this person. If you're a painter or a handyman or something similar and you receive this kind of request, beware. Anyways, there is a Canadian, what's it called here? Antifraudcenter.ca And uh, they have a phone number where you can report this and that's what we're going to try to do right now. Okay, now we're going to put 1888, that's the number, 495 
8501. And we're going to see what happens and uh, whether these people have heard of. Canadian Anti Fraud Center. Bienvenue au Centre Anti Fraud Canada. Please note our toll free number is available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.45 Eastern Time. S'il vous plaît, notez que notre numéro de téléphone centré est disponible du lundi au vendredi de 9h à 7h45 l'heure de l'Est. Please note that we are receiving a high volume of calls and your patience is greatly appreciated. For service in English, press 1. Veuillez noter que nous recevons un volume de Our mandate is to collect information from citizens who have been the target of fraud. The information we collect is protected by privacy laws in Canada and made available to law enforcement partners for their investigation as we do not investigate. If you do not want us to share your information, you can file a complaint with your local police. If you lost money thinking about sending money or were a victim of identity theft, press 1. All others, press 2. To repeat this menu, press 9. To better serve you, please listen carefully to our new menu option. Please listen to the following menu. For scams regarding computer repair or virus protection, press 1. For offers concerning a prize or a vacation, press 2. For pop-up messages or extortion scams such as CRA, press 3. Phishing emails from a bank or Provider, press 4. For fraudulent job offers, press 5. For Canada Revenue Agency or Immigration. If you have applied for a job on a website or have been offered a job via internet and someone is asking you to pay an advance fee or money transfer or wiring funds to secure the job, obtain material in order to perform the job, beware that we have received several complaints this type of scam. Do not send any money. If the person offering the job is from a known company, contact the company concerned to verify. To provide us with any information that could be used by law enforcement for investigation, press 7 to speak with a representative or file online at www.antifraud. Please note that all phones are recorded ready to provide us with your personal information and we need you to have the documents related to your fraud ready. The information gathered at our center is protected by privacy laws in Canada and is used for law enforcement purposes. If you do not wish to share your information, please contact your local police directly to make your complaint. We are sorry but all of our lines are presently busy. Information is important and we encourage you to file your report via our website at www.antifraudcenter.ca. If you prefer, you can try calling us back later. Thank you for calling. So it, ha it automatically hangs up on me. This means this phone line, in essence, it doesn't exist. It is completely useless. I don't know how. How many minutes you just spent listening to this together with me but it was a complete waste of time so what I'm gonna do is report this online I guess but it is almost like this kind of thing this this kind of fraud anti-fraud center is just not up to the challenge that we are actually facing I mean who doesn't get a scam at least once a week or something like that usually they're different in nature this was actually something that um, at first it seemed so legit because somebody sent me a text message with their name and everything the kind of message that I get often this is how I get the majority of my jobs unless they are from existing customers so everyone out there handyman whatever you do if you're self-employed be very careful the fraudsters are overwhelming our society it's like it's out of control now i'm going to report this online and share a few screenshots with you perhaps 
So, when I was recording this phone call, I wasn't actually trying to prove this point. It just happened that way. So let's try to report this online like it's recommended. Tips for reporting online. <laughs> Look, there's actually when it doesn't work or something like that. You can use this phone number, 188. We did that. Why you should report fraud and cybercrime in order for law enforcement to combat uh, yes, we agree. We know all that. And then at the end it says, coming soon, new cybercrime and for fraud reporting system. So learn more about this new cybercrime and uh, fraud reporting system. And we click on this and there is the same page just all over again. So as you can see, friends, uh, there is no way of really reporting this unless you are very patient and spend hours on the phone. That is not good enough. But here, that's how it is. All right, I'm going to definitely put a link in the description for the antifraudcenter.ca. But it almost seems like you're on your own, guys. You have to be aware of what's going on and you have to be on the lookout all the time. Protect yourself. The way I responded to her text message may offend some people, but a legitimate customer who seriously wants your services will understand, also will understand that you do not accept checks. I mean, if it was you and I would respond in that way to you, since I have never met you in person, would you be insulted by my response saying that I do not accept checks from people I don't know and also that your method of contacting me seemed a little suspicious to me? I don't think so. Anyways, thanks for watching this. I thought that's worth sharing because it bugged me so much. Again, smash the like button for up. Uh, don't smash it. We need it for future videos. So just tickle the like button and hopefully you subscribe to my channel. Because if you're not, there's an opportunity. Thank you.